Leaders from all different aspects of Georgia Ag gathered in Tifton for the annual GFB State Commodity Conference, where information was shared, policies were discussed, and potential problems were addressed. And none are bigger than the economic outlook for the upcoming year, especially with the escalating trade war with China that recently took yet another turn. Uh, China announced they're going to stop purchasing all agricultural goods altogether. Well, we weren't shipping a lot of ag goods this past year because they had huge tariffs on our major exports to China. I think one that, it, that it's going to impact is pork because pork, even with a 63% tariff, had been shipping pork to China because of the challenges they're facing with securing a pork supply or even animal protein supply due to African swine fever. This recent news not only will affect an already struggling ag industry in the short term, but also signals to farmers that they might want to prepare for a lengthy dispute. I wish I could say that there's an end in sight, but given the escalation over this past week, this past weekend, as well as the uh, rhetoric coming out from both sides of this trade uh, situation, I do not see it getting much better anytime soon. I think this is going to be a long-term challenge for American agriculture, and farmers are going to have to deal with the level of uncertainty that we're facing, as well as uh, the volatility and, and the markets. Unfortunately, with all that unpredictability, the best thing farmers can do to wait out the storm is tightening the belt a little bit more. I think with all the uncertainty and again volatility facing everybody is I think risk management is going to be key. Uh, anything you can do to cut down as much cost as you can and I, I know farmers have been doing that for a while and there's not much more they can do but I think that's going to be key moving forward. While it won't be a long-term solution, the newly implemented aid package will provide some much-needed relief as farmers continue to wait for a resolution between the two countries. Uh, farmers really just want to compete. Uh, U.S. farmers have a comparative advantage over the, most of the rest of the world. Uh, they can produce food and fiber more efficiently, more economically, and more effectively than most elsewhere in the world. And when faced with a level playing field, uh, U.S. farmers have the confidence that they're going to be, be able to succeed. Speaking of success, every year the Georgia Farm Bureau hands out their Commodity Award, the organization's highest honor. And this year's recipient was longtime livestock advocate Patsy Cannon, who's dedicated more than 35 years to the industry. And while she's done everything from call livestock shows to setting up sales, she says the thing she'll remember the most is... The people and the relationships that you have. Um, you know, people are the same wherever you go, just wonderful, wonderful people. And... Um, and that's, to me, that's what it's all about, the people and the relationships, the things that you can share uh, with one another. You know, the, the people involved, of course, that's the big thing, the people that are involved, because um, no two people may not necessarily have the same breed, but you've got the same type of people, which, again, it's, it's like a, a family, and you try to work with them, whether it's this breed or that breed or a composite breed or commercial cattle. Reporting from Tifton, I'm Damon Jones for the Farm Monitor.